All right, hey guys, uh, it's Adrian here from acnatsmedia.com. Welcome to this um, quick tip session. Um, we're in ZBrush um, 2021.6. Um, what are we gonna be doing today? Um, so if you're new to this channel, um, what we focus on, it's um, an basically human and animal anatomy, digital sculpting, we, we mainly focus on high details and uh, we share our entire process of how to achieve um, super realistic um, details with your anatomy in ZBrush. So if you enjoying the sessions, um, you can hit the like uh, button over there and then if you wanna see more of these, make sure to subscribe and then um, you will be um, notified when we share new tips and tricks and new in-depth tutorials okay so with what i have um today um it's our canine um our dog and uh e Ecoche, our anatomy model which we went through that we we, we went um, through sculpting this from scratch on our channel I'll, I'll probably share like the link in the description if you haven't seen that you you can go through that but what I, I, I want to do, I want to go into more details, into more detail with these um, over here. So um, let me just pan this out, let's see. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what I want us to do today, it's some quick stuff. But what we're gonna do, as you can see on these sides, we um, we've added the the uh, lat latissimus dorsi muscle, the sheet muscle over here, and then on the other side, we removed that. So what I want us to do, I want us to add um, the lat over here. I just want you guys to see the process of how to do these. Um, let me just zoom in over here. These overlapping. Um, what should like effect <laughs> going on like for you to see um the serratus that they underneath over here to create this um this bumpy effect on top so i want us to to create that with our lats so as you can see on this side um we have the, that illusion that these um these uh serratus are actually underneath this um, small sheet muscle that we have on top our latissimus dorsi so basically we're going to be doing that and then um, that's basically it so what i want to do um so i have i'm going to be using a mouse again um so no one will have any excuses without further ado let, let's just jump into this um okay let's see where i should start so just panning and zooming right in here um I, I have my standard brush the regular brush um and then what we can do let's draw a mask let's see um if i can do a duplicate of this guy oh let's grab him okay so uh, i want to do i want to have like sort of a reference press e or w on the keyboard to Select the, the gizmo, auto option, click over here, and then uh, click this um, location. And then we can move this model over here. All right. <coughs> and then just t turn this like so, so we can see um, how everything is laying out. We don't actually need this, just for like some guidance that we can have let's see okay cool so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hold i'm holding down control or um, command on your keyboard to use the mask i'm just gonna draw this um this mask over here nothing serious um, let's see not too bad Let's see where it ends. Um, no, this is too this, this is too hard. So let's see. If you draw here and then okay. 
Let's do it like so. Uh, it doesn't have to be precise, just um, for us to have that. Um, we are, I'm just gonna draw this. And then we'll put this on top. Uh, just coming in, holding on com command or control, and then just clicking. Just drawing these masks. If you hold down control and then option or alt on your keyboard, you can remove certain parts, like so. As you can see, I'm just coming in. If you want to be more precise, if you want to control a command and click over here, you can choose these ones over here. You can probably like choose the lasso. You can be more precise, but for this quick tip, I think this will do. Just coming in, and then just I'm just gonna carve that in. Probably smooth. Uh, let's see. Let me leave it like so. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna um, let me see. I want to inverse. So command. Uh, let me solo this guy command and clicking outside that's over here and then we can have that if I shift shift D to move to the lower subdivision I, I don't want to mess um, with my uh, with my thing over here okay so if you press let's go back to the, the to the high subdivision so to be more precise, I'm just gonna clean this up. It doesn't suit. It doesn't look right. What we can do also, if you go down to the uh, palette over here, go to the um, masking, and then um, we can sharpen this mask. I'm not gonna use shortcut, so if you click over here, you can sharpen this. As you can see, our lines are more straight and sharp. Now, what we, you can do now, if you grab your let me fix this over here. make sure this is tucking in alt or option and control command make sure this is tucking inside here yeah. and then um, I'm gonna grab my standard brush and then I'm just gonna come in let's see my intensity just come around there And then shift D to move to the lower subdivision. I'm gonna grab my clay butter brush, decrease the intensity a, a bit. Oh, that's too harsh. Probably like two. And then I'm just gonna come in on top. I'm just gonna come in on top like so. I'm not destroying all the forms. And then go back to the high subdivision, press D on your keyboard. Uh, just gonna smooth that. And then we'll smooth that. Sad. Grab my uh, standard brush. Um, we're gonna smooth that. Just a tad. So if you hide your mask, you can kind of see how everything is laying out now. So what you can do now, what, once you have this, you can come in with your standard brush, decrease your draw size, press S on your keyboard to decrease the draw size, click and drag. Um, we can use a, a bit of as you can see, we don't have much topology. What you can do, you can subdivide even more. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. You can work on this. So, as you guys can see, I'm looking from the bottom up. So I can create that, um, that sheet. So, as it goes to... Um, 
to insert over there, it, it, it becomes more thin. So just make sure you're just smoothing that, holding down shift, just smoothing that in, just making sure everything is lining up, and then come back and emphasizing that. like so and then what you, you, you can do also you can grab the trim dynamic and then um, just come in with that trim dynamic hold on auto option first build um, and then you can destroy everything Come around those edges, smooth out where I can. And then we have our lat, easy like so. If you check on the other side, um, probably something like that, you see. So if you want to be more um, realistic, you can just grab the what i done i grabbed the, the clay bit of brush and then um, i used a very very soft like two will do and then just come in with probably do a one or one and then just come in following the muscle striations so to create those lines and then just smoothing that a tad Just smoothing that and then come and building them in and then smoothing that just to create those m muscle striations going on top over there so this is basically the technique I used for this side for this lads but then more like precision as you can see for all the the brachial um, cephalic or so the, the muscle I have over there so for all these muscles actually if I, I want to create like a muscle overlaying on top of a muscle that's the, pretty much the technique I use so I start with the, the underlying muscle and then I add that muscle sheet on top using this um, same technique so I thought let, let me just not hide anything from you guys so this is a very cool technique I use for for if you were asking yourself um, how did I achieve that um, if you were, you were watching our full um, to uh, like our, our full tutorial which we have on our channel of this canine and um, if it, it was too fast for you so this is how I, I done it over here and again if you have any further questions or if you want to know something else um, just shoot me down um, at the comment section um, and then I will probably when I get time I will record the specific tutorial you wanna me to you want me to record so um, without um, wasting any time I have to go for now this was it for this um, quick tip session it's Adrian from sanatomy.com and I'll definitely see you guys on the next one